I remember the president said something to me like, is there a problem? I remember saying, uh, no, sir, there's no, there's no problem. Imagining the assassination of President Bush was just a very potent way of, um, uh, of looking at uh, how the war on terror has been handled by the administration, um, of touching on some of the sort of the hurt and polarizing, the sort of polarizing effect of the war in Iraq. We weren't just rounding up people. We had probable cause. That was a major, major security breach. This time, it, it seemed to me there was real hate. The film portrays the assassination as a horrific event with terrible consequences. The actual moment of the assassination itself is very fleeting. I mean, you know, it's very important that we didn't dwell on uh, that the assassination, that it wasn't gratuitous. I think the assassination is really just a starting point for um, you know, for, for what is really a sort of political thriller, part political thriller, part murder mystery. Um, and I think that, you know, it's, it's very clear in the film that the assassination has really awful consequences. I look for anything that seems out of place, anything that looks wrong. Some agents look at hands, I look at eyes, and I look for that stare, for that look that says, I'm not a big fan of the president. I, I knew that the idea was provocative. I knew that it, there was a potential for it to um, offend some people, but I think that, um, you know, I think the provocation is justified. I think, it's, I think it's fine for film to be outrageous from time to time. And I think that ultimately the film, um, you know, I hope has a serious intent. You know, I hope it's a thought provoking film. We're just getting reports of a shooting incident. It's not clear if the president himself has been hit, but apparently there are casualties. Yeah.